In the last week of the Israeli election campaign, a visual reminder to voters of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's pledge to annex every illegal Israeli settlement in the occupied West Bank. What you guys have to really do is you have to delineate this line. Netanyahu was joined by U.S. Ambassador David Friedman and the rest of the joint American-Israeli committee he chairs, mapping out exactly where the Trump White House would recognize permanent Israeli sovereignty. The mapping is on its way in order to allow the imposing of the Israeli law on these territories and later getting American recognition. Nonetheless, it isn't quite what Netanyahu promised in Washington a month ago. He said he'd begin annexation before the election, then the White House put the brakes on. It's complicated his bid for supporters of far-right parties in places like Efrat, an illegal settlement near Bethlehem. The anticipation and the excitement and the disappointment and suspense, they haven't influenced the polls at the moment into such a level that I can say this has been the game changer. Instead, Netanyahu has been focusing on settlement construction around East Jerusalem, announcing thousands of new housing units in areas that would further undermine the notion of a territorially unified Palestinian state. This is a dangerous uh, policy, and uh, we consider this an act of uh, destroying the peace process. There are also plenty of Israelis who believe annexation doesn't serve what they consider the Jewish state, that it could make a binational state, eventually a majority Palestinian one, more likely. I think they might have overreached because by talking about annexing all the settlements, this really terrifies the one half of Israel that has understood the demographic danger to Zionism of non-separation from most of the Palestinians. So I don't think he's going to get new votes from the left this way. But after three consecutive campaigns, most minds are made up. The game is more about motivating turnout than persuading voters to shift allegiance. Even the announcement of Netanyahu's corruption trial date, it starts just two weeks after the election, appears not to have harmed him. In fact, the polls suggest Netanyahu has overtaken his rival Benny Gantz, although not by a margin that would give him a majority coalition in parliament. In the end, the imminent annexation of places like this has become one issue among many in this campaign, with Netanyahu everywhere, all the time, talking about everything from security to diplomacy to the coronavirus. But should he win, or should he be in charge of another caretaker administration after another inconclusive election, his campaign promise on annexation could become very real. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.